This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. After the match, we see uh, footage from the Access Convention where we would see uh, Kel- Kevin Kelly interrupt the Hardy Boys autograph signing to ask him about the TLC. These guys say they're nervous but also excited. Back in the arena, we see Triple H sitting in his dressing room grunting while the Undertaker's hanging out in the boiler room, shadow boxing. Of course, they're going to meet later on the show. But up next is something people still talk about to this day, probably the most famous match on this whole card, which is saying something considering what all we've covered so far. It's the TLC with the Dudleys, the Hardys, and Edge and Christian. Edge and Christian regain the tag straps here. This match is really beyond description. I think you've got to see it. If you're a wrestling fan and you you're hearing this and you haven't seen it, go ahead and stop our podcast and go watch that right now. You'll be glad you did. And we'll be back here when you get back. Uh, <laughs> but if you have seen the match, but it's been a while, I can't recommend watching it enough. I think this is one of those spectacles that is, is really the definition of a WrestleMania moment. Meltzer gave it four and three quarter stars. Uh, as silly as that sounds, I think you could argue that's a little low. I don't know that this was great for the longevity of anyone's careers, but what a spectacle it was. What'd you think? And, uh, you watched it back this week for the first time in 20 years. Can you take us back to being in the arena that day, watching this live and trying to do your best to put into words what you're seeing? Well, you just let your instincts take over Conrad, quite frankly, that's what one does in that regard, because there was no precedent for this match. Well, I've seen this before uh, to me, this is all new, uh, in the, in the, in the big picture. Uh, I, I can't speak highly enough of these guys. Everybody that got involved in it contributed greatly, but it was, everything was new. Everything was fresh. I, I well, what are they going to do next? Cause nothing was predictable. And he had six guys that were very hungry, all looking to break loose all looking to have their WrestleMania moment and to better stabilize their position in the company. So I, I was, a, uh, I was completely blown away by it. You know, I'm, I'm with you. I'm not sure what, how these ratings are. I guess they're just Dave's gut feelings yeah. or whatever. Uh, and that's what it is. Uh, uh, a very educated man's opinion, but, uh, I thought those guys over exceeded. I didn't know what to expect in this match. And, uh, and they delivered, man. I mean, yeah. they delivered big time. It was, it was really phenomenal when you have a match that's in the middle of a pay-per-view that is so, uh, memorable that it, that that match becomes the title of a subsequent pay-per-view. Yeah. That's pretty incredible. It is. So, uh, I'm, I'm a big, uh, big fan of all those guys and what they did. You know, nobody had any fear. Nobody had any reservations. Nobody worried about getting their shit in. You know, they didn't. They just, they, everybody could have co- cooperated in the one main purpose, and that was to get the match over and entertain the hell out of the audience. And I can only imagine sitting there in the Astrodome where you could see the, how the ladder and the title hanging and all those things, uh, how amazing it must have been. But that's, uh, those guys got a hell of a payday out of that deal too. Probably the biggest paydays they ever got in their life. I can't remember if that's the one that they were complaining about, or maybe another one. I'm not sure, but, uh, I think they complained about the no mercy one might be, I don't remember. Hey, every pay-per-view had some basic similarities, you know, that somebody's going to bitch about a payoff and that's part of the system being the shits because it's called discretionary income. So it's a judgment call, always a judgment call. And the way we did those payoffs on the pay-per-views on the pay-per-views was I would work up the pay sheet, present it to Vince and basically make my presentation. And, uh, he would, he would always, he always had to change a few things, which is certainly his prerogative. And again, it was discretionary income. So there's no right or wrong, right? So these guys made a real good payday on that show. They deserved it. Uh, they may say to this very day, well, we should have made more. Well, you should have, you might've been booked in the goddamn bingo hall too. You know, 
you, it, it's, you got a great opportunity here. And the great thing about these guys, they all six ran with the opportunity. Look at the, you know, Christian is, uh, now with us at AEW, he's going to be a big player for us. He's still got plenty of matches left in him. He's got unfinished business. He wants to, to prove for his own legacy, uh, edge. He's, he's back headlining WrestleManias. He's in the hall of fame, the Hardys. I don't know if that the Hardys are ever make it to the hall of fame in WWE because of Matt's relationship with AEW, which would be a crime. But, uh, and then of course, uh, uh, Bubba and Devon, uh, are in the hall of fame. So it really launched and opened the eyes of a lot of people, uh, of the, of the abilities of these, of these guys, I'll be forever indebted to the match they had and for the professionalism they had, the, the risk they took, because basically you've got Bubba and Devon are the catchers, right? Then you got some flyers that got to be caught. And, uh, I thought Jeff Hardy was amazing in that match, especially not that the other guys weren't here's what you're getting some fans. Well, he picked out Jeff Hardy said he was did a nice job, but he shit on everybody else. Conrad, everybody else got a large peanut sized filled dump. So no, Jeff Hardy was extraordinary in that match. Think of some of the bumps he took. But that's not good for the dirt. We need dirt. By God, we got to have dirt, or it's if it's a dirt-free environment, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Insanity. Oh gosh, uh, go watch this. We can't put it over strong enough. Uh, right. Lead we can't. Lita's going to take a, uh, a 3d through a table. Jeff's going to do a swanton off a 14 foot ladder. Edge is going to spear Hardy as he's hanging off of the belts. Like amazing words. Can't describe what this was. Uh, I can't imagine trying to follow this, but they do. Uh, but before they do Howard Finkel announces that WrestleMania 17 had set the all time attendance record for any event at the Houston Astrodome, 67,925 fans. Well, let's jump into WrestleMania 17, uh, before the actual live broadcast starts on pay-per-view, we've got a Sunday night heat match with just incredible teaming with Xbox to take on Steve Blackman and grandmaster sexy. They got two minutes and 46 seconds. Credible and Xbox get the win. Uh, Meltzer would say there didn't seem to be any purpose to this and the crowd didn't care. Albert took out GMS, allowing the other two to super kick Blackman and Xbox pin him, uh, Xbox and just incredible and Albert are now going to be collectively known as the X factor. I guess, you know, on a pre-show like this, you just want to give people a, a look inside the arena and let them see the excitement and the capacity crowd and, and hope that that sort of pushes them over the edge to make a purchase of the pay-per-view, right? Yeah. Uh, pretty much. I think you're on the money. I think you're on the money there. You know, the idea, I think a lot of times is people say, oh, I don't want to be on first. I don't want to be the first match, but it is an important match and yes. it sets the tone and it sets the pace sort of like you sort of joked about with, uh, with Steve Austin inducting you into the hall of fame at the top of the show. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com. <laughs> 